Information and communications technology is a catalyst for socio-economic development and growth. High-performance computing, popularly referred to as supercomputing, is helping researchers produce world-changing research, companies design better products and medical experts save lives. Increasingly, it will be instrumental in solving those seemingly unsolvable problems. Similarly, faster networks give users and countries a competitive edge. The National Integrated Cyber Infrastructure System, or NICIS, is South Africa's national facility for computation, high-speed network, and research data repository and analytics. The NICIS umbrella holds the Center for High Performance Computing, or CHPC, the South African National Research Network, or SANREN, and the Data Intensive Research Infrastructure, DERISA. The NICI's data center contains one of the fastest supercomputers in the world, Lingao, which means cheetah, with 1,300 compute nodes for data processing. A 56 gigabyte per second InfiniBand is used for data interconnect among the compute nodes. Clients send their raw data via the Sanren 10 gigabyte per second fiber link. The data is then allocated computing time and is processed by the CHPC before being sent to Lustre Storage, where it is kept for a short time until the researcher downloads it. When the data is extremely large, or for long-term storage, or if it is of national significance, it is stored on the Derisa 8 petabyte storage facility. The South African National Research Network, or SANREN, is a national broadband network that provides broadband connectivity to South Africa's higher education and research communities. To date, SANREN has connected 236 sites, including all main campuses and most satellite campuses of all 26 public universities, various statutory science and research institutions in support of innovation, and national libraries. A large consideration in terms of cyber infrastructure is security. The CHPC security dashboard shows attacks in which an intruder is engaging with the target system to gather information about the system's vulnerabilities. It shows the source of attack per country, where the attack emanates, and the types of attacks the center is subjected to. The dashboard shows authentication failures and invalid accounts used to log in on the system. Once the specialists receive this data, they study the threat to understand its behavior and mitigate the attack. In the data center, cold water is pumped in through the doors of the computer racks to cool down the computer, and the created hot water is pumped back out. Chillers use cold water to cool the data center and the ambient temperature in the data center. In the case of a power cut, the supercomputers have to keep working. The uninterrupted power supply kicks in at the start of the power cut until the generators take over. The CHPC has two 500 volt amp uninterrupted power supply units. The CHPC uses power from the city of Cape Town, but also has a dedicated two megawatt transformer on site at the Rosebank campus. Much of the power is consumed by the 1.3 Peter Flop Lingao and the cluster dedicated to international research projects, ALICE and ATLAS, at the European Organization for Nuclear Research. In the case of a power cut, this 1,030 kilovolt amp generator kicks in and can run for up to eight hours, during which it uses 1,200 liters of diesel. Behind the technology is an energetic and experienced team who is committed to providing South Africa with a world-class cyber infrastructure system that enables cutting-edge research, innovation, and learning. <laughs>